Okay guys, today I just gonna do a quick look on my uh, new project right here, uh, MA suspension system. Okay, as you can see, the whole transmission has the uh, suspension. Okay, this one is spending me a couple weeks to finish it because um, all the parts are legal Timia original parts. So the arm right here, you can see give a better angle the arm right here and arm right here those arm is made by this piece right here and uh, every join which is right here this one right here and also the connector join right here okay it's already have um, ball brain which is right here insert to every single join okay so which make this suspension a real strong solid especially um, I do a lot of research I've been seeing a lot of people doing suspension car but uh, the most problem uh, the uh, most people they have it is this piece right here and this piece right here uh, I, I do see a lot of people the arm is not that strong okay it's waggle and loose but uh, my is pretty strong it's not even moves Okay, so as long as this piece you uh, design right, it will be really strong and really, you know, it's not really waggle. Okay, and you can see the, it's pretty good. Back, let me turn it on. So it doesn't matter how you're gonna move, it won't get a jam. Okay? Same as the back. Okay. Okay, I also made this body and cut the other pieces so it makes it fit. And also as you can see uh, with body put on the suspension works the same. Okay. Okay, anyway, um, uh, the parts for all the suspension system, it is this piece right here, and I'm using this piece, and also some of this right here. Um, okay, okay, anyway, I've, I've been doing a lot of research, um, so this is just my prototype, um, and um, the reason I want to make a prototype first because uh, later on I'm gonna do a video tutorial f um, for the uh, for teach uh, people how to make this system. Uh, it is not really too complicated, but the only thing you have to be really um, uh, pay attention it is the you have to make sure the all the transmission right here is gonna be really uh, solid like this one really strong, not waggle, not loose, and also you have to make sure. Um, all the wheel alignments should be really straight okay anyway uh, this is just my prototype so I using my uh, all the scrap um, the uh, the parts um, especially the chassis this is uh, one of my broken chassis I just you know because I already failed probably already um, I already failed two chassis already because I just try to figure out how to cut the you know the all the chassis to make the suspension fit to the um, whole system right here. Okay, anyway, for my uh, next uh, video, um, maybe with another week, I gonna make a suspension system tutorial um, to teach you guys how to make the suspension system. But maybe there's a lot of professional tool required. Um, for making this car, I already spent another $300 to purchasing this machine right here. So this is a new, new machine I purchased recently. This is the uh, uh, the drill press. Okay. And this drill press, the reason I need it, it is because all the join right here, as you can see, 
uh, I mentioned earlier, I already installed the ball bearing. So you need a disc drill press to drill the hole on it so you can insert the, uh, the ball bearing into the FRP. Okay, so anyway, uh, probably need some professional tool like all the tool I have right here. I will try to make it as easy as possible, but in order to make it more professional and it makes more um, uh, um, runs better, um, for sure I need a professional tool. So anyway, I'm just going to do the tutorial later. And um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment.